Let's take a look at calculating surface areas. So here we have a cuboid. Now a cuboid is made up of six rectangles. So we have two identical rectangles which make up the top and the base. Two identical rectangles making up both sides, five by three, five by three, and a front and back which are eight by three. So let's look at the top and the bottom. So the top and the bottom is eight by five. And because there is a top and a bottom, we're just going to do 8 times 5 multiplied by 2. We've also got two sides, so the area of one side is 5 times 3, so both sides is going to be 5 times 3 times 2. And we also need to do the front and the back, so the front is 8 by 3, so for the front and the back it's going to be 8 times 3 times 2. Now 8 times 5 times 2 is 80, 5 times 3 times 2 is 30, and 8 times 3 times 2 is 48. So therefore the total surface area is going to be 80 plus 30, 110 plus 48, so 158 square centimetres. We could use a net to calculate the surface area. So here is the net of this cylinder. Remember a cylinder is a rectangle and a circular top and a circular bottom. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So usually we'd be told that pi is 3.14. So it's going to be 3.14 multiplied by the radius, which is 4 times 4. But because there's two circles, we might as well multiply by 2 and just do all of this calculation in one go. So 3.14 times 4 times 4 times 2. That comes to a total of 100.48. And this is for both circles. Now we just need to work out the area of the rectangle. We know it's 5 in a height but we don't know how long it is. Now the length of this rectangle is the circumference of the circle. Now the formula for the circumference is pi times the diameter. So 3.14 and the diameter, well if the radius is 4 then the diameter is going to be double that, so 8. And 3.14 multiplied by 8 is 25.12. So this is a rectangle 25.12 by 5. So the area of that re rectangle is 25.12 multiplied by 5. So the area of this rectangle is 120, uh, sorry, 125.6 square centimeters. So therefore the total surface area is going to be the 125.6 plus the 100.48 and that comes to a grand total of 226.08 square centimetres.